How about that right there? You know what else? It's a good day to hit those dog parks. Yeah, you know, a great day to get outside coming up, uh, enjoying some very warm weather, finally moving our way after somewhat of a cool first half of May. A live view from the Perryville Airport this morning, still tracking a few clouds out there. They're not going to be around for very long, though, and expecting a lot of sunshine to take hold a lot more, especially than what we saw yesterday. Looking back into the eastern sky, you can see the Illinois hills there in the distance, just south of Chester. We are expecting uh, another warm afternoon, a little more sunshine, but the breeze stays with us today. Winds will be out of the south and east, and once again today we could see some gusts over 20 miles per hour. Looking ahead to Friday, even warmer weather, and we're likely going to break our streak of uh, 85 degree days, and I mean that uh, we haven't seen an 85 degree day since early October. We're likely to see that come here this weekend, especially Saturday and Sunday. Sunday likely to be the warmest day in our entire forecast. 67 right now in Mount Vernon, 67 as well in Marion 66 currently in Paducah. We've got 68 in Cape Girardeau, Portageville, Missouri, currently at 70 degrees there. And again, no rain out there. We've seen the storm track shift to our west. Some showers overnight out across parts of southwest and central parts of Missouri. Those moving away from us, though, and again around here, just a few clouds. They're going to scoot on out of here pretty quickly as this area of high pressure now positioned in the Appalachian Mountains is going to start to shift westward, and that's going to take that storm track, push it out into Kansas and Oklahoma and all the way up through Nebraska and Iowa. Iowa and keep the rain out of our forecast, at least here through the weekend. There's all the showers and storms. Notice everything pretty much tracking from the south to the north. So even if you pull up your Storm Track 3 app, the interactive radar, and you see all of the rain out to the west, it's not heading this way. Expecting dry conditions to continue for the next few days. This afternoon, temperatures into the low to mid 80s. Yesterday we hit 79 degrees. Today, about four or five degrees warmer than that uh, with that extra sunshine. It's going to be a summer like afternoon in Ridgeway 83. Anna today at 85. Pinckneyville also at uh, 83, Mount Vernon, Benton, and Marion, all up to about 84 degrees this afternoon. Lots of mid 80s as well into western Kentucky from Benton, Kentucky today at 84 to Mayfield there on I 69, running up to about 85 degrees this afternoon. Some lower 80s this afternoon as well into Van Buren and Fredericktown, Missouri. Once you get into the uh, Missouri Boot Heel, New Madrid today up to about 84 degrees again today. That wind out of the south and east. But here comes that big dome of high pressure. This is a summer like pattern taking hold through the weekend. 85 for tomorrow, 86 in here on Saturday. Sunday, the warmest day in the forecast. They're about 10 degrees, though, warmer than average. Our average high temperatures into the upper 70s. And we're going to keep the warm weather around into the early part of next week. Of course, we start talking about all this warm weather. Well, you know the humidity is going to come up as well. But uh, expect dew points to be hanging out in the low to mid 60s. That's uh, not impressive by any means for this time of year. That's actually somewhat comfortable, so we're not going to be dealing with anything too bad as far as the humidity goes through the weekend. Of course, you can track any wet weather there on the interactive radar with the Storm Track 3 app and also keep in tune with the uh, weekend forecast with lots of warm weather on the way. Uh, 88 Sunday, 87 on Monday, Tuesday, keeping into the upper 80s. There are chances for showers and storms starting to ramp up towards the middle of next week. Pattern breaks down as we watch that big dome high pressure gets squashed to the south. Better chances for some showers and storms by Wednesday and temperatures cooling back just a bit with afternoon highs dipping from the upper 80s on Tuesday back into the low, lower 80s towards the end of next week. The lower 80s. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be bad again. Uh, we, lower 80s is good. Well, and you know, upper 80s this weekend, but at least the humidity. That's oftentimes when we see these big warm spells in mm -hmm. May, the humidity lags behind. Of course, well, we're getting closer to June, July, and August, so you know that uh, eventually that humidity is going to make its return as well. All right. Thank you, Nick. Well, it's been a challenge.